Archaeological resources are priceless and irreplaceable. They are the only record of our past before the invention of writing, which includes most of human history. Archaeological sites are non-renewable resources. We are not making any more towns, shrines, or rock art sites that date to 1000 BC. When a piece of the past is destroyed, a page from the history book of humankind is lost forever. The Duveni is an important site along the Hopi pilgrimage route to El Tifka, also known as the Grand Canyon. Many newspaper rock in Hopi, the Duveni contains 5,000 petroglyphs of Hopi clan symbols and is the largest known collection of clan symbols in the American Southwest. Among the Duveni's 150 sand boulders are the records of more than 1,000 years of Hopi history and culture. Hopi clan petroglyphs completely cover the sides and tops of a number of towering sandstone blocks up to 5 meters tall and are also found on the surface of smaller boulders along the base of a small mesa that forms part of the ecocliffs. The Duveni is an important site for the Hopi people and also a valuable site for archaeological study. The style of the petroglyphs at Tutuveni is remarkably consistent. Iconic symbols, typical of recognizable animals, plants, and or cultural items of moderate size about 10 by 10 centimeters. Unlike most large petroglyph sites, the symbols at Tutuveni rarely overlap. Even more unique is the fact that the symbols appear in rows of repeated images up to 20 times in a line representing repeated visits by members of the same clan. Hopi ancestors were making petroglyphs at the Tuveni before Europeans landed in the Americas. Before Copernicus discovered that the earth revolved around the sun, before horses were introduced to the New World. The historical record formed by the petroglyphs at the Tuveni survived centuries of exposure to wind, rain, and sun. But it only takes a moment for human carelessness or disrespect to destroy part of this record. Visitors to Tutuveni have scarred the site by scratching, painting, and chiseling graffiti over ancient petroglyphs. Now the record of their damage will join the petroglyphs at Tutuveni as a legacy that will be passed on to future generations. Due to the occurrences such as the vandalism at Tutuveni, the federal government has passed legislation to protect America's precious archaeological resources. In 1979, the federal government passed the Archaeological Resources Protection Act, also known as ARPA. This act has two primary goals. The first is to secure for the present and future benefit of the American people the protection of archaeological resources and sites, both on public lands and Indian lands. The second objective of ARPA is to foster increased cooperation and exchange of information between government authorities, the professional archaeological community, and private individuals having collections of archaeological resources and data which were obtained before October 1, 1979. ARPA also substantially increased penalties that can be levied against convicted violators or those who inflict damage on archaeological sites. Violating ARPA is considered a felony. First-time violators can be fined up to $20,000 and imprisoned for up to one year. Second-time violators can be fined up to $100,000 and imprisoned up to five years. Section 8B of ARPA allows the court or civil authorities to use forfeiture of vehicles and equipment used in the violation of the statute as another means of punishment against convicted violators. Now that you are knowledgeable on the importance of these special archaeological sites and of the legislature protecting them, we hope that you will act as a steward of these sites and share your newfound knowledge with others so they will also respect our important heritage. Kokwa.